Welcome to the Microprocessor and Microcontroller Lectures Series. Here we are going to write an assembly language program for subtraction of two BCD data. BCD stands for Binary Coded Decimal. Our problem is write an assembly language program to subtract two numbers of BCD data. Now we are going to analysis our problem. The 8086 processor will perform only the binary subtraction because of the every processor can only support the binary number. Hence the BCD subtraction, the binary subtraction of BCD data is performed and then the difference is corrected to get the result in BCD because of the BCD number only changes from 0 to 9. After the binary subtraction, the following correction should be made to get the result in BCD. What are the correction to be take place if the difference of lower nipple exceeds 9 or if there is an axillary carry? Okay, then we are going to subtract with 6 to the lower nipple. Okay, next. If the difference of upper nipple exceeds 9 or if there is carry, 6 is subtracted. The above correction is taken care of by the DAS. What is mean by DAS? It is an instruction decimal adjust after subtraction. Therefore, after binary subtraction, execute the DAS instruction to do the above correction in the difference. Okay. In the example, we are going to take, this is a two data, 9572-4793. In this example, we are, the final result is 4779. It is a BCD result. Okay, now we are going to write the algorithm for this program. Load the address of data in SI register. First, we are going to load the address in this SI register. Let's clear the seal register to account for the borrow. The seal register is used for storing the borrow value. Next, load the median in the AX register. Get the subtraction in BX register. Okay, it is a 16 bit data. That's why the median value is loaded into AX register and get the subtraction value in the BX register. First, we are going to perform subtraction in between the AL and BL. The difference of low byte values to be stored in this AL value. This AL result is not a BCD number. That's for we are going to next step. We are going to adjust the difference of low byte to BCD. Okay, next save the difference of low byte in DL register. After the BCD correction, the result is available in this AL register. That result can be moved into the DL register. Next, get the high byte of menu in, in AL register. That means AH value is moved into the AL register. Next, we are going to perform the subtraction in between the A. L and B H value. The result will be stored in this AL register. In this subtraction, we are going to perform along with the previous borrow. That's why here we are using the instruction of SU, SBB. In this subtraction, we are using the instruction of SUB. Clear? Here, this result is not a BCD number. That's for adjust the difference of high by to BCD number. Save the difference of high byte in DH register. The result is available in this AL register. This result is available in this AL register. That value is moved into the DH register. Next, we are going to check the carry. If the carry flag is set, then go to the next step. Otherwise, it goes to the final step. The final step, the memory data value, that means the register data value is moved into the particular memory location. And the carry, the borrow value is also moved into the particular memory location. If the carry flag value becomes set, we are increasing the CL register value. That means increment of the CL register. Okay, now we are going to see the flowchart here. This is the start of the program. Load the address of data in SI register. Clear the CL register value. Get the first data in AX register. The first data is the menu end value. Next, get the second data. Second data is the subtraction value in the BX register. Next, we are going to perform the subtraction in between the AL and BL. In order to get the difference of low bytes in AL register value, the result is not a BCD number. That's why we are going to correct by using the command of DAS. This is the adjust the difference to BCD number. Then save the difference in DL register. The result is can be available in this AL register. If the value is moved, this register value is moved into the DL register. Next, get the high byte of first data in AL. That means AH value is moved into the AL register. Okay, next subtract the A, BH to AL to get the difference of high byte. The result can be stored in this AL register. This result is not a BCD number. That's why here we are using the DAS command to adjust in difference to BCD 
okay next save the difference of high byte in dh register the result is available in this al register the result can be moved into the dh register then finally we are going to check the carry flag value the carry flag value is present increment of the cl register the increment of the cl register is moved into the particular memory location as well as the difference value is moved into the particular memory location if the carry flag value becomes zero what is going to happen the cl register's value becomes zero that value is moved into the particular memory location this is the stop of the program then this finally we are uh, terminate the program now we are going to write the program first loading the sorting address into the si register next clear the cl register because so the borrow can be stored in the cl register next particular memory address 1100 is our starting address this starting address contain one value that value is move into the this value is move into the ax register this particular memory location contain the byte of value this byte is moved into the al register next memory location 1101 is contained in the next byte it is moved into the ah register that's why si value that means the particular memory location kind of values move into the ax register next move bx comma si plus 2 this is mean 1102 this value 1102 and 1103 value is moved into the bx register next first next we are going to perform the subtraction in between the al and bl value this result can be stored in this al register this is now not a bcd number that's why we are going to perform the adjust by using this instruction das instruction the result can be stored in this al register this result can be moved into the dl register next is we are move higher byte of menu and value is moved into the al register next we are going to perform a subtraction in between the al and bh value the result is not the result can be stored in this al register the result is not here bcd number that's why we are going to adjust into the bcd number by using the das command the result can be available in this al register that value is moved into the dh register now the dx register contain the value of dl dh and dl value okay now we are going to check the carry flag if the carry flag value is set increment of the cl register initially the cl register value becomes 0 0 if the carry flag value becomes 1 the cl register value become incremented by 1 otherwise the value is got jump into here here the dx value is moved into the particular memory location this memory location address is 1104 and the cl value is moved into the 1106 this is the our program finally we are going to terminate the program okay next this is our example 1100 is contain the value of 72 this is a lower byte of the first data this is a 1102 is a higher byte of the first data this is 1102 is a lower byte of the second data 1103 is a higher byte of the second data now first we are going to load the address 1100 in si register the cl register is clear to 00 first particular memory location 1100 and 1101 that means 1100 contain the value of 72 and 1101 contain the value of containing the value of 95 it is moved into the ax register okay that's why ax value becomes 95 al value becomes 92 next 1102 is containing the value of 93 1102 is containing the value of 93 and 1103 is containing the value of 47 that value is moved into the bx register that value is moved into the bx register first we are going to perform subtraction in between the al and bl the answer is we are going to perform subtraction between the al and bl the result is df this result is not a bcd number because of the bcd number is only changes from the bcd number is only changes from 1 to 9 therefore we are going to use this instruction to adjust into the bcd number this al is contain the value of df we are using the das command that value is changed into 79 the carry flag value is also what the carry flag value is also 1 next this ah register that means this higher byte of the data is moved into the al register this is 95 value now we are going to perform subtraction in between the al and 47 that means bh value along with the previous borrow previous borrow means previous carry value carry flag value that's why we are using the command of sbb okay the result can be stored in this al register the result is 4d it is not a bcd number that's why we are using the das command the result can be changed into or adjust into bcd number the result is 47 the carry flag value is, is also 0 next we are going to check the carry flag value become 
okay carry flag value become zero that's why the cl value is not incremental if the carry flag value becomes one the cl value become incremental mm. now the dx registers value that means higher byte of the result is 47 lower byte of the result is 79 this is the difference okay difference lower byte different higher byte the result value is moved into the 1104 memory location and cl value is moved into the 1106 memory location that's for 79 is present in this 1104 and 47 is present in this 1105 memory location and final borrow value is moved into the 1106 this is the example of the bcd subtraction this is our program just i am copy and paste here now first we are going to emulate this program after this emulation first we are going to see our memory location our memory location is 1100 in this example i will choose the 1100 here okay in this 1100 is initially the is a free first we are going to load our data okay the 72 is the lower byte of the menu end okay 95 it is a higher byte of the menu end next 93 it is a lower byte of the subprehend next 47 it is a higher byte of the subprehend now we are going to update here execute the program step by step first we are going to load the si register value become 1100 this is the starting address now we are clear the cl register value become 0 now the 1100 value is moved into the ax register that's for 1100 contain the value of 72 is moved into the al 1101 is contain the value of 95 it is moved into the ah this move into the 95 and 72 next now this 47 and 93 93 is moved into the bl and 47 into move into the bh yes okay this is the result first we are going to perform subtraction in between the al and bl result can be stored in this al register what is the result the result is df this df value is not a bcd number therefore we are going to use the das command in this das command we are going to adjust into the bcd number the result is 79 the result is 79 now the result is available in the al register we are going to move into the dl register okay the result is 79 now this ah value is moved into the al okay ah value is moved into the al now we are going to perform subtract in between the al and bh the result can be stored in this al register what is the result 4d it is also not a bcd therefore we are going to use the das the DAS is used to adjust our result into BCD number. The result is 47. This 47 is moved into the DH. This move into the DH. Now we are going to check the carry. The carry flag value becomes 0. Therefore, no increment can be take place in this CX register. Okay. Uh, immediately the result DX value is moved into the particular memory location. The memory location is 1104. Okay, 1104 and 110. If 79 is moved into the 1104 and 47 is moved into the 1105 and the final carry that means the CL value is moved into the 1106 the result is 0 that's why there's no change finally determine the program this is our BCD subtraction thank you